Hello, I'm the Nerdy Steve and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be reviewing Smile 2 in one take. So, let's go. First things first, if you liked Smile, you will like Smile 2. If you didn't like Smile, I can't imagine this movie does anything differently for better or worse that would change the outcome for you. Now that that is out of the way, on to Smile 2. This is a horror film that features a demon or ghost that is a cross between the entity from It Follows with Samara from The Ring. It torments its victims for over a week and ultimately forces them to kill themselves in front of another person. This trauma binds the entity to the witness and the process repeats itself over and over. I did not love the first smile. I enjoyed the ride I went on and it was a fun experience, but jump scares and a protagonist being so helpless and many dreamlike fakeouts was off-putting for me. And guess what? I had the same experience for Smile 2. All my complaints for the first smile were doubled down in the sequel, which is not an inherently bad thing because if you like the original, you will like this movie. Smile 2's protagonist Sky Riley, played by Naomi Scott, is a pop star whose career stopped after she was involved in a tragic accident a year prior and finally making the steps to restart and reinvigorate her fandom. However, she finds herself falling into the traps of this curse and it interferes with her life greatly, to say the least. <laughs> Naomi Scott is absolutely beyond phenomenal here. She authentically sells the lunacy of the situation. While these films can drift towards campiness at times, it never becomes campy. So the acting has to toe the line of brutal realism that Scott just gets. It's a tone-perfect performance, and I need to see her more. One of the reasons I don't like Smile 2 is that I'm not a huge fan of jump scares, and they are used a lot. I did scream at a couple, and there were one or two that I thought were particularly clever and effective, but I much prefer creating a terrifying atmosphere because jump scares are just a little gimmicky to me. I much prefer a movie like Hereditary, where there's this intense atmosphere that makes you frightened. And while Hereditary might have jump scares itself, it doesn't rely on them. They are part of a much larger and horrifying film going on. There are times when Smile 2 has dreadful undertones, but it's not consistent, and I think it would have made a better movie had it focused on that more. The gore of this movie is brutal, and while I'm ambivalent, for fans of this specific gory genre of horror, you're going to love it. So much messed up stuff happens in this movie, and you get to see most of it in astonishing detail. For the more adventurous viewers, it might be worth a watch just for that. I think more horror movies need to incorporate diegetic music, which is music happening within the world of the film. I saw Trap a couple months ago, and I know people were passionate about that movie, but I loved how it incorporated dance and choreography and vibrant visuals into the film. And that happens here, and when it does, it is brilliant. Smile 2 opens up with a really tense and dramatic and horrific scene. Honestly, one of the best openings to a horror movie in a really long time. But it sets the movie up for failure because it loses this tight, kinetic, and frenetic energy. The rest of the film does not keep up with its beginning. Smile 2 also teases that it's going to be a much more fulfilling movie. There are a lot of instances where PTSD being a celebrity, familiar pressures, and addiction are brought up, and it seems that it wants to have a deeper conversation with those topics. Sadly, it doesn't ever get there. Smile 2 is a fun ride. Will it be a horror movie I'll rewatch? No. Will it be a horror movie I recommend? Not really. But was I happy with the ride I went on? Yes. Do those answers make sense together? Not really, but I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm the Nerdy Steve, and thank you so much for watching. And as always, like and subscribe and comment below to tell me how right or wrong you think I am. Have a wonderful morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are. Bye.